up and say yes to express LRS. Hello friends of the RC hobby. Today it's a day where I've got a new receiver here on the desk and whatever I do with those things, you know, I record the first time I flash them and let you know how this is going. So you have the confidence to know what you're up to when you order such a thing. As usual, uh, basic rules, uh, I got a simple rig here, I got an ESC with a back in just to power it up, I got a simple battery here, okay, and the receiver itself, <coughs> this is not sponsored, this is something I bought myself, as usual, and now, now I will go and unbox that thing for you, or unpack it, because it's as the back, not a box. Okay, on we go. Comes with a really, really tiny bag, and that uh, reveals already the most important thing. The most important things are included and ready. <clears throat> so you get exactly three things and three things only. Um, that's a bunch of wires which are, well, um, put together nicely so they won't fill up. There's a bit of shrink tubing here. Yeah, and of course the receiver itself and some antenna. No spares just as it is and it's a fairly cheap receiver um doesn't say anything about quality so let me see if i can zoom in here and uh, excuse the shaking here now let's look at it at this here you can probably see this is pretty neat uh, it has an lna low noise amplifier and uh, well um comes what we see with Expressionless 3.2 uh, pre-installed. <clears throat> By now we have uh, the release candidate one of 3.3, uh, which I will install in a second after I will have soldered on um, the pins here on the stuff, on the pads. Well, other than that, I don't know if there's anything of interest for you. <clears throat> Boot button and the usual things. Um, it got the blessing from the Express LRS team and uh, well, yeah, the antenna. It's some kind of unusual compared to the others. It's uh, like it is. Well, a little bit more rigid than the others, I would say. It takes a little more place, but yeah, that's it. I will go and solder that up and then, uh, then we will flush it together, right? Hang on, we will get in there. Back again. Um, solder those four pins to pull pins on. Apply the shrink tubing because um, you gotta isolate those things because you know you never know what's up in your plane sometimes. So here we go. Um, nice to see that the description on the pins is present. Can I fix the focus? Can I get focus? Yes, here we can see it. So you find where a receive and transmit is as well as ground and five volts, right? So yeah, we'll uh, put it up to power, uh, power it up now and uh, simply see if we can get it flashed. Mm -hmm. Must be like so. Searching for signal. Guess they have applied about 60 seconds. Um, I don't think we want to see all this, but oh yeah, <clears throat> let me focus back here. Like so. Um, I like this antenna somehow. It feels pretty rigid. Uh, compared to the ones from the other distributors and manufacturers, like uh, let's say Happy Model or um, what do we have more? Of course, yeah, um, Beta FPV Radio Master. Although I didn't have a Radio Master yet, there are two to come later on. It's the ER6 and the ER8. I will make every uh, same video for you with this, and um, we'll have a look at them. You see, now it's ready and goes into Wi-Fi mode. So yeah, it's time to get to the computer running and uh, see where we end up. Okay. 
Okay, what we have here is, first of all, um, it boots up and just regular basis as usual, usual and says it's a 2.4 GHz RX, who, who would have thought, whereas an unknown CELBT. That's an interesting one, I think. Well, we won't bother too much about that, as we will just uh, continue to the update button and stay there until further, because now we're going to flash it first, right? Okay. Okay, firing up Express Solar, as you can see, this is version 1.6.0, release candidate 1. Nothing uh, ex ex super fancy, it's just regular stuff, what we do. Uh, picked release uh, 3.3.0 RC1, which is nice. And now, as I'm already connected in the Wi-Fi <coughs> and got my PC on uh, on a wired uh, web configuration or web connection, uh, have a look. It already shows up. Let me see if I, if I can. Yeah, maybe you can see it here. Yeah, you can see it's already there. So I can simply pick it. I will select it. I will select it. There we go. It, it re records, of course, it's what it is. Foxia 2.0. Uh, 2.4 and uh, I will have the RX. I will uh, flash it via Wi-Fi. I will have my settings here, binding phrase, home Wi-Fi and password interval will be kicked back to let's say 30 seconds just for a change because I like it to be rather quick when I have to fiddle with it. Otherwise, um, after 30 seconds, I should have a connection. Otherwise, I'm lost. Anyways, so yeah, let's uh, flash it. And this will be a super fast one because it's a new setup where they just uh, flash the thing instantly because they load the things from the web. At least I hope so. <clears throat> so, let's see what happens. What happens? What happens? Okay. It's already this. It's already it. Well, okay. Okay, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. No, uh, no fuss here. Simply uh, go for it. Meanwhile, the Express LRS receiver is firing up again, um, waiting for its uh, seconds, and then we'll get back to Wi Fi access point mode where it will have to connect to my Wi-Fi, like now. And I hope to see that in a second. <clears throat> and yes, indeed, it's here, it's here. You can't see it on screen yet because I haven't shared my screen, but it's been working. Let me share my screen for a second. Although I can tell you here. Let me see, now you can see it here. Yeah, new device found, and there you go. Release candidate one, RX, everything is fine, everything is good. I would say that was a clean, clean one. The cleanest so far, I must say. Congrats, Foxia, you have impressed me. So I'm looking forward to fly those things and uh, give them absolutely a go. You should perhaps consider those too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. That would be awesome.